So here we're going to run through some of the troubleshooting aspects of using GDB with Visual Micro. So we just have a, a standard sketch here to use with our ESP Rover module. And we're going to use the, the built-in ESP Dev Kit debugger. So first, if we just, we've already uploaded our code. So if we try and attach we're getting this warning saying it was unable to establish a connection. Now in the output window, we can see that there is a log created here. So if we open that log file, we'll be able to see a bit more information about what's gone wrong. There we go. So here we can see there's an error saying it's unable to open a device with that vid and pid. We'll just check but the device we've got plugged in is the right vid and pid. So if we just go to device manager and go to the ports and properties, and if we just select details and then go to the hardware ID, we can see that the vid is 403 and the pid is 6010. So we've definitely selected the right device and it's definitely connected. So this means that the driver has not been updated using the Zadig tool. So if we quickly open Zdig, and we can update the driver for device zero, for interface zero, sorry, on our device. And here we can see it needs updating to the Win USB driver, which is compatible with the tools that Visual Micro uses. So this can take a few minutes, we'll sped it up to shorten this video. There we go. So now we've reinstalled our driver. Let's try attaching again, because we know it's connected. There we go, it's attached. So if we just add a breakpoint, there we go, it's stopped. So everything's working as expected. So that's one common issue. So now another issue is when you go to attach to process, you may get this error message. Now the important part is at the bottom saying that the process is executable has been changed. So this means we actually need to do a build on our code and re-upload it to our board. Just press, up, press upload as well, put that on the board. It's like the right COM board. <laughs> now if we attach again, there we go. Everything's working as expected. So that's a, another common problem that you can run into whilst trying to use GDB. And then finally, there is also potentially the problem where you get this error message and you've tried the other options and it's still not working. So we can see that the log is in curly braces. That should be the only thing you see in curly braces in this output. And as we read through the rest of it, we see here at the end, we've got this open OCD script in curly braces. That shouldn't be there. So if you do see any, any properties in this output that aren't the log file in curly braces, this is likely to be the reason it doesn't work and these should be reported on our forum with the output and which board you're using. So that normally has to be resolved with either an additional property. And if you want to actually test whether that's the problem, you can copy the command line and then run it in the command prompt. So finally, we do actually have a, a troubleshooter on our website, which will step you through the different options depending on what prompts you're seeing. As you can see, this will walk you through the problems and it will tell you if you need to report it on our forum. So hopefully that gets your debugging working quickly.